Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to solve exponential equations. So we start off with there's two kind of examples, right? The powers that we see, um, or the exponents, right, on the bases. So if the bases are the same, it's pretty straightforward. If the bases are not the same, we have to make the bases the same. Okay, so let's look first at when the bases are the same. It says two powers with the same positive base, where the base is not one, are equal if and only if their exponents are equal. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples here. Um, we see two to the x plus five equals two to the seventh. Well, we know the number two to the seventh power, that's only going to be equal to two to the seventh power, right? So what we can say is essentially x plus five has to be equal to seven. So we just write that x plus five equals seven. We subtract five and we get x equals two, okay? So we solve the equation, x is equal to two. All right, now if we plug that in right there, we would get two plus five, which would give us two to the seventh power, okay? All right, look at the next one. We have eight equals eight to the four x minus seven. Well, eight doesn't look like it has an exponent, but remember, if there's an exponent not listed, then its exponent is one. So now we can say one is equal to four x minus seven, and now we can solve for x. So we add seven to both sides, we get eight equals four x, we divide by four, and we get x equals two once again, <clears throat> okay? All right, so now if we plugged two right here, four times two is eight, eight minus seven is one. So eight to the first equals eight to the first. All right, six to the three x equals six to the two x plus three. So we're gonna say three x equals two x plus three, and we can subtract two x here, and we're left with x equals three as our answer, right? So we plug three right here, three times three is nine, plug three right there, two times three is six, plus three is nine. Okay, well, what if the bases are different, right? Well, we have to rewrite each side of the equation using the same base. So let's look at some examples. The first one is seven to the x equals 343, okay? So we need to, let's leave seven to the x here. But now let's think about 343. Well, that can be rewritten with a base of seven. Seven cubed is 343. So now we can just say x equals three, okay? All right, the next one, nine to the x power equals three to the x plus two. <clears throat> we can rewrite nine with a base of three, right? It's three squared, so we get three squared raised to the x power equals three to the x plus two, okay? All right, so now what we have is essentially power, power product, right? Exponent rule, okay? So we can take two and x and we can multiply them together. So it becomes three to the two x equals three to the x plus two. And now we have like bases, so we can say two x equals x plus two, we can subtract x, and we get x equals two, okay? All right, and the last one we have four to the two x equals eight to the x minus two. Well, I can't rewrite eight with a base of four, and I can't rewrite four with a base of eight, but we can rewrite both of them with a base of two. So we can say two squared, to the two x power, and eight would be two cubed to the x minus two. And once again, we're gonna do power, power, product. We're gonna multiply these exponents. So we get two to the four x equals two to the three times x minus two. So we're gonna have to distribute there. So now we have two to the four x power equals two to the three x minus six, right? We distributed that three. So now we can say 4x equals 3x minus six. We subtract 3x to solve for x, and we get x equals negative six, okay? All right, well, what if we have a base that's a fraction, maybe between zero and one? We're gonna use the negative exponent rule, okay? So I've I referred to a couple exponent rules, so if you wanna watch the video on properties of exponents, check out the video on the top right-hand corner right now. Okay, so we have one over six raised to the x power equals 216. So one over six, that's a fraction, right? That's like one over six to the first power. So I could rewrite that by flipping that to become six. And once I flip that fraction, it's gonna make the exponent become opposite. So now we have six to the negative first raised to the x equals, and we can write, rewrite 216 as six cubed or six to the third power. So now we're gonna power power product right here. So we get six to the negative x equals six to the third. And now we can say negative x equals three, divide by negative one, and we get x equals negative three. 
All right, last one. 5 to the x plus 3 power equals 1 over 25. So we're going to leave 5 to the x plus 3, and we're going to use our negative exponent rule to rewrite 1 over 25. Well, 1 over 25 could also be written as 1 over 5 squared, right? So now we can take 1 over 5 squared and flip that to make it have a base of 5. But once we do that, the exponent has to go from a positive 2 to a negative 2, okay? And so now we can say x plus 3 equals negative 2, and we can subtract 3, and we get x equals negative 5, okay? All right, and that is how you solve exponential equations. Mm -hmm.